What's goody? What's goody? <clears throat> Hey ladies, how are y'all pretty faces doing? Anonymous caller, I don't like nothing anonymous. I might have to block you. Anonymous caller, no profile picture, no nothing. That shit scary. I mean, I got somebody looking me in my face and I don't know who it is. I don't like it. I don't like it. <clears throat> I don't like it. You got to go. Got to get your ass out of here. Happy birthday once again, Big Rock. No case, no face, no face, no goddamn case. Get your ass out of here. Get your ass out of here. I'm trying to check all these damn messages. Too many people is hitting me up saying... I'm not responding. But I'm looking. Ain't none of this shit important. Now I see why I didn't respond. You ain't saying shit. You know what? I'm deleting all this shit. How about that? I don't even open up my damn message requests. Get your ass out of here. You want my attention right now? Talk to me about some fucking money. Don't be rushing me to respond to you and you asking me for a fucking favor. Fuck you in your favor. How about that? How about that? Fucking piece of shit niggas got some nerve. 
How you asking me for a favor and you rushing me? Bitch, you asking me for a favor. Fuck you in that favor. How about that? The fuck? <laughs> you act like I'm benefiting by doing something for you. You act like I'm going to come out on top by looking out for you. <laughs> You can't have your hand out and give me an attitude. You can't have your hand out and give me an attitude. Bitch, if you don't get the fuck out my face. <laughs> block, 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 block. Exactly why I be blocking you bitches. You ain't my fucking wife. You ain't my girl. You ain't my baby mama. How dare you feel so entitled? Fuck you. How dare you feel so entitled? <laughs> Bitch, I live a good, comfortable fucking life. Nice, beautiful home in the suburbs of New York. It's because I worked hard all my fucking life for it. Can no bitch come in my life acting like she entitled to anything I bust my ass for before your ass got here. Fuck out of here. Show me you worth it and I'm going to act like it's yours too. Until then, bitch, get the fuck out of here. Show me you worth it and I'm going to act like all this shit is yours too. And to then, you can't do nothing but suck some dick when I feel like eating some pussy. That's it. Keep telling y'all I'm the wrong nigga. Don't be fucking with me. I am not that tender dick, simp ass nigga you looking for. I am not him. I am not him. I don't need you for shit and halfway don't want you. What? 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 Fuck out of here. I could throw away my own money by myself. I don't even have to leave home to do it. You know how much shit I order a week on this motherfucking MacBook Pro right here? Do you know how many Amazon trucks is at my front door every fucking day? Bitch, I don't need no bitch to throw away no fucking money. Especially a bitch that don't appreciate shit. Fuck you. It's real shit. I ain't kissing no woman ass. Kissing no woman ass. You go play that reverse psychology shit somewhere else. That shit don't work with me. I ain't got to show you shit. I know what the fuck I'm bringing to the table. Show me you deserve me. All. Oh. All. Oh, All. Oh. Okay. That's what I thought. That's how you end a conversation real quick with a bitch that's full of shit. Show me you deserve me. That's how you end that conversation. That's how you get a raggedy bitch out your face. Ask her, why do you deserve a good nigga like me? The average bitch can't answer that. That's how you get a bitch out your face. That's how you get a raggedy scallywag bitch out your face. Why do you think you deserve a good nigga like me? The average bitch can't answer that. Because she ain't got nothing to offer you but some goddamn pussy. The average bitch can't answer that. You in my goddamn inbox asking me for a favor, but you rushing me at the same time. Who the fuck do you think you are? Sister Mary Clarence? <laughs> Think you are. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
big rock. I hope rock had the dope birthday, man. I ain't see no party pictures or none of that. So hopefully she had a real close-knit private engagement, you heard? With her inner circle. Obviously, things went good. We ain't get no bad news, you heard? We ain't get no bad news. Ain't nobody trying to break in the house last night or nothing. So far, so good. So far, so good. I don't even like smoking on camera. That's why I keep my camera off a lot. I hate smoking on camera. It's bad. But I already did it. I might as well turn the camera back on. I don't like smoking on camera. This shit is bad. It's, it's, it's not good for branding. And if I want to put this on YouTube, you can't fully monetize it. If you got a blunt all in the camera... And you talking your shit And you blowing weed smoke You can't fully monetize that So if you trying to be a YouTuber A content creator It's things I do for a reason It's things I would never do for a reason you Gotta pay attention to those things Cause I'm not gonna do nothing on YouTube That's gonna make me lose money So when you see me avoiding shit You know that's how the niggas be losing money. <laughs> I hope so too. Right, Nessa? How you doing, Nessa? How you doing, Nessa? I like Nessa's sexy ass. Nessa, you pretty than a motherfucker. You don't think I know what you look like, girl. Mm, I know what you look like. Hey, yo, I had to back out that group. I ain't even know y'all had somebody in there that I stay away from. And I don't even know why you in my chat, bro. Get your ass out of here. Emerson, Emerson, go suck a dick. I'm not gay. It's four o'clock in the morning. You look at me in my fucking face. I don't want to talk to nothing but some goddamn warm pussy and pretty toes. Get the fuck out of here. There's plenty of dicks around the world that want you. Fuck out of here. Huh? That fake news, nigga. I don't fuck with that guy. The TV guy. The TTV guy. I don't even like saying his name. That nigga is full of shit. He's fake news. All he do is lie. The whole YouTube know that. That's like his fifth fucking channel. All he do is lie. I did not know he was in that group. I'd have been left that goddamn group. I do not fuck with that man. I got that man blocked on everything. That nigga can't look at my YouTube videos. I got him blocked on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. The nigga can't send me a fucking email. I got him blocked on Google. The fuck? <laughs> <coughs> Shit. This motherfucker fire. And I don't have nothing personal against him. It's just, I respect my brand too much for my subscribers and supporters to see me publicly interacting with a guy like that. He's fake news. He don't hide it. He's a self-proclaimer fake newser. He tell you, I'm on here hustling. Fuck these celebrities. I'm going to do what I got to do to get the most views. He say that. 
I never interacted with him a day in my life, never had a conversation with him. I don't need to. I don't need to. I can read your video titles and I see you full of shit. All of this shit is fucking clickbait. All of this shit is fucking clickbait and fucking lies. I don't even fuck with supporters, subscribers that send me shit. I got internet spies that send me links, things I might be interested in. If anybody ever send me an email from that nigga, that's an autom I mean, a YouTube video from him, that's an automatic block. I keep that nigga far the fuck away from me. I don't want none of my supporters to know that no, hell no. I don't know that nigga. I don't talk to that nigga. I don't do nothing like him. I don't want y'all to think I got fake news. I'm clickbait. Hell no. Yeah, that was a good group, though. I liked it, that group, but I could do it out of baby girl. I'm sorry. That's a good group. I don't want to be a part of nothing that nigga a part of. And I'm going to keep it real, Nessa. I'm going to keep it real, Nessa. My opinion is my opinions, baby girl. I'm not on the internet for no open discussion. I am a comedian. My YouTube channel is a stand-up comedy club. There is no room for nobody else's opinion. And I don't give a fuck about nobody else's opinion. <laughs> like, like, so I don't even be interacting with content creators like that. I stay out the way. Like, my shit is, I don't have open discussions on YouTube. I am not here to exchange thoughts and ideas. I'm here to talk shit, make you laugh. You might want to curse me out. You might fucking hate me at some point. You might fucking cry. I'm going to make your fucking stomach hurt because you're fucking falling over, crying and shit. And by the end of the live stream, you're going to love me. I want to take you on a roller coaster ride. But I'm not making nothing up on nobody. As much as I can't stand Blueface, I'm not going to come on here and lie on Blueface. I'm not going to come on here and say Blueface did anything I know he didn't do. You know how many times that nigga slandered Krishan Rock name? You know how many times that nigga said some foul shit about Krishan Rock? You remember when Blueface kicked in the door and took Junior and Marchene was running around the streets trying to get the baby back with Blueface? At what point during that night did police get into a shootout with Blueface? At what point when? At what point during that night did Blueface get into a shootout with police? Why would a nigga YouTube video say that? Why would anybody put that in a video title and do a whole video? And dead serious. They not laughing. They not joking. They not telling you this is improv. They not saying this is comedy. They're giving you commentary in this video like on some fake journalist shit. Like this is true. Breaking news. Breaking news. That's why I block stupid niggas. 
I don't associate myself with stupid niggas. That's a stupid nigga. That's a stupid nigga. Oh my God, if I lose another lighter, I know I just ain't do this. I know I ain't do this. I know, I know, I know. I ain't just do this dumb shit. No, I didn't. Mm -mm. I know the good Lord ain't allowed me to do this dumb shit. I came all the way home and ain't buy a new lighter. I know I ain't do that. Mm -mm. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Damn, they go another one. Ain't no way. <laughs> Ain't no way. I just went to 7-Eleven. I just bought me a nice cup of coffee. I done bought some more rolling papers. I thought I got everything I needed. I forgot I needed a new lighter. This shit have that. This one dead. Like I got a green one. The green one is new. Well, I bought it a minute ago, but I've never used it like that. So I know it's full of fuel fluid. And you know where that shit is at? In my goddamn truck. I guarantee you it's in my goddamn truck. Yeah, Nessa. That's one of the reasons why I stay to myself, baby girl. I don't got nothing personal against the guy. He might be a good guy. I just can't professionally, I can't associate myself publicly with him. So it don't make no sense for me to be in a chat with him. I'm going to never come to your YouTube channel and be in your comments. I'm going to never do it. It don't make no sense for me to smile in your face in private if I'm going to never associate myself with you publicly. <laughs> That's why I left the group. Now nah, you still my baby girl with your pretty ass. I just don't want you to think I had an issue with none of the ladies in the group, yo. I don't fraternize with niggas anyway. I'm a polygynist. You ever read my bio? <laughs> that shit been there since Instagram was Instagram. <laughs> I'm the only dick in the room, no matter the situation. <laughs> so even if the nigga wasn't fake news, I probably would have left the group anyway. <laughs> I probably would have left that shit anyway. <laughs> One too many niggas. <laughs> it was nice meeting you pretty faces. <laughs> I'm out of here. Uh-uh. I don't fuck with no niggas online. Uh-uh. I 
I don't want to build with you. We can't communicate. I don't want to exchange ideas. I don't want to help you with your endeavors. I don't want to co-host, nigga. I don't want to be business partners. I don't want to invest in anything with a man. There's no need for me to be interacting with a nigga. A woman? Yes, I want to help you with your endeavors, with your talents, with your skills. I want to help you build your YouTube channel. You articulate, you intelligent, you beautiful. I would love to co-host a talk show with you. I would love to co-host a podcast with you. I don't want to never do none of that with a man. Never. Nothing. <laughs> I'm the only goddamn dick in the room. <laughs> or I'm not in the room. <laughs> mm -mm. <laughs> I can't let no one bother my day once and you are the only dude huh <laughs> you and blue nah blue rock tv he's very fucking professional that's my guy that's my guy that might be the only nigga i fuck with blue rock ttv is my guy you heard that's my boy. He's very professional. And he treat his platform like a business. You know what I'm saying? He respects his branding. Some people don't respect their brand. You got to remember, the average nigga on YouTube is on YouTube because they fucking lazy. They don't want to go get a job in real life. The average YouTuber is lazy. In real life. That's why he chose YouTube. It ain't until he started YouTube. He realized. This shit is hard work. But once you monetize. And you making a couple dollars every month. The lazy ones. They either fall by the wayside. And their YouTube channel die. Or they start with this. Clickbait fake news shit. That's what happens. Then you got some lazy YouTubers. They rather have people sit on a the panel. They don't have to talk as much. You know what I'm saying? <coughs> yeah. I'm going to keep it real. I'm not looking for no receipts. I'm not looking for no receipts. I'm not Googling. I'm not looking for no fucking facts. I'm not doing none of that shit. You heard? I specialize in talking shit. That's what I specialize in. I specialize in jokes. You heard? Improv. You heard? Off the cuff comments. That's what I specialize in. You heard? I, I'm looking at the same shit on my timeline. Some people see this shit on their timeline and they go to, and get to digging. They start doing research. They got to find, nah, I don't want to find the truth. I don't even care what the truth is. Most of the time, you heard, <laughs> this shit I'm reading and looking at is what's trending. I don't want to find out the truth. I want to talk about exactly what the fuck this is. <laughs> <laughs> Real shit. If Rock went live and curse call this out, that's what the fuck I'm talking about. We about to curse call this out too. Yeah. <laughs> Rock done curse this scallywag bitch out. Okay, we going live. We about to curse this scallywag bitch out. <laughs> this shit simple. <laughs> I'm not doing no research trying to figure out who, what, when, where, why, what, no, none of that shit. <laughs> I halfway don't even care what the fuck Carlissa said to make Rock so mad. I really don't even care about that. <laughs> All I know is she did some dumb shit. Rock cursed her out. Cool. I got about an hour, two hours. Let me curse the bitch out too. <laughs> this shit's simple. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.
<laughs> I gotta say today was a good day. Right. Shout out to the legendary Ice Cube that gave us that beautiful, magnificent, ghetto, summertime classic. That's a fact. Cube that took a nigga to the dice game, to the basketball game, to the playground where his man got smoked. Cube that took a nigga through his whole hood in that song. Cube took a nigga through the whole hood. That's how you paint a picture. That right there is art. That's why I love Nas so much. That's why I love artists like Nas, AZ. These brothers is giving you storylines. They giving you substance. I can't get jicky with this drill rap shit. I just can't do it. I can't do it. Man, listen, these young people can have that shit. They can have that drill shit. I don't know nothing about it. I'm a New York nigga. I was born in 1983. I came of age in the 90s. I am a New York nigga through and through. <laughs> I don't want to hear nothing about all that. Hey man, if you don't sit your stupid ass down. Fuck is all that? God damn. Woo. Woo. Nigga. <laughs> Them niggas that took the DMX bark and just did some. Woo. No. No. Take DMX bark off that goddamn drill beat. Pull your goddamn pants up. You, you learn how to read a goddamn fucking book. The song, three minutes. You said three goddamn words, the whole goddamn song. I know you was a little illiterate, special, special ad, little son of a bitch. You need to learn how to motherfucking read and write too. Goddamn drill. No. They can't give you a story. These niggas is illiterate. Niggas can't read and write. That's why the lyrics is so bland and so surface. Niggas say 10 words the whole song. Niggas is illiterate in real life. These kids is young and fucking dumb. Young and fucking dumb. I like that real hip hop shit. Yeah, back in the days, our rappers spoke about street life, but they was talking about their past life. Nas, he used to tell us how it was growing up as an adolescent in Queensbridge. A single mother household, mother working two jobs. He raising his little brother. The violence, the drugs... That played Queensbridge in the projects. How he had to hustle. How he had to get money to help his mother with the bills. He's not promoting street life. He's simply documenting his own life. These niggas today don't do that. These niggas today... Is on the song talking about, I'm here to let y'all know I got beef with this nigga and when I see him, I'm going to kill him. Nigga released that song today. Tomorrow on the news, that other rapper is dead. Monday morning, this nigga got a new song. I told y'all niggas I was going to smoke him.
And they wonder why Young Thug and all these other niggas is sitting in jail on RICO cases. That's why. That's why, stupid ass. You go to the studio and tell us in a song you're recording the crimes you about to commit. Then you go and commit those crimes and then come back to the studio to let us know you just committed those crimes. All on one album. And I'm supposed to be running around talking about free Young Thug. No, 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 no. Fuck Young Thug. Ain't no way in hell I'm going to get my hands on multi-millions of dollars and I'm not legitimately putting my people on in the hood. If I'm not going back home to legitimately help these brothers start businesses or put them on payroll and give them legitimate job positions, then I'm not going back to the hood. I don't want to entice y'all niggas to commit crimes. I don't want to commit crimes no more, nigga. That's why I started rapping. That's why I went and got me a major label deal. So I ain't got to sell crack no more. You think I'm going to take this money Def Jam just gave me and come back to the hood and give it to y'all so y'all can go buy guns and crack? Fuck out of here. Fuck out of here. If that's what I wanted to do, I wouldn't have never took my ass up to Def Jam for that record deal. It just don't make sense. I went to Def Jam to escape that lifestyle. So you mean to tell me I went and got those white people money, blew up, traveling the world, only to come back to the hood to pay you to go kill somebody that looked like me? Fuck out of here. Fuck Young Thug. Fuck Young Thug and all them stupid ass rappers sitting in jail just like him. YNW Melly killed his two best friends. Fuck YNW Melly. Shit crazy. Shit crazy. King Vaughn was a complete savage. That nigga was a serial killer. That nigga documented. He got eight bodies. Just smoking shit. Nah. I don't live that life no more. I don't promote that shit. I don't champion that shit. I gave New York State over 10 years of my fucking life in the penitentiary. Nigga can't tell me nothing about this street shit. I done did it all. I done did it all. I did everything in the streets except for die. I did everything in the streets except for die. I done did everything you could think of to a nigga. My goddamn rap sheet taller than me. That's why I come online and talk the way I talk. I don't give a fuck about no whack 100. No blue face. No Bodine. No none of that. All the, I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. Niggas be online. Acting like they walking on eggshells. When it comes to talking about this toxic ass storyline. Involving Blueface, Krishan Rock, and whoever else involved. That's why I talk so blunt. That's why I speak with authority. This shit is a fucking hip-hop Ponzi scheme. WAC 100 got Blueface in a financial headlock. Blueface is a dead man fucking walking. That's why I talk like that. You ain't gonna find nobody on YouTube, nobody on Instagram saying that shit. They on here debating, is Blueface gonna be with Jayden or is Blueface gonna be with Rock? Is Blueface gonna be stupid and deal with Bonnie when he come home? Shut the fuck up. That's what they want y'all stupid asses to be on here talking about. Shit is a hip hop Ponzi scheme. 
And if Blueface don't figure out how the fuck he gonna start clearing off some of that fucking debt, somebody gonna end up fucking dead. That's the facts. This shit ain't fun in games. I might make jokes about Carlissa. I might be fucking blew up every time he say some dumb shit. But I'm a comedian. I'm a comedian. I'm here for the money. I'm, I'm telling jokes and I'm dropping gems. I use coming events and the dumb shit on my timeline as a conversation starter. But by no means am I naive or ignorant to the facts when it comes to this toxic ass relationship. This shit is a fucking hip hop Ponzi scheme. Blueface will forever be in debt with WAC 100. WAC 100 ain't gonna never let that nigga be in no committed relationship and live happily ever after if WAC 100 ain't making money off that fucking relationship. That fucking bitch. It ain't just about Krishan Rock. That's any woman in Blueface life. Any woman. That nigga could carve a pussy into a fucking tree and stick his dick in it. He could put a wedding ring on a branch of a fucking tree and say this tree is my bitch. Whack 100 to have a fucking problem with it if that tree ain't making him no fucking money. Jayden is not a threat. Not only is Jayden not talented, she have not a talented bone in her body, but more than likely, Jayden is under contract. Wack 100 wasn't promoting that fucking Barbie bullshit for nothing. The only way Wack 100 promoted that is if Jayden signed something. Wack would have never done that. How long Rock been with Blueface? When have Wack ever tweeted out Krishan Rock new song? Promoted it. Spoke about it in a positive light. He always said Rock was trash. He always said Blueface is wasting his time. Meanwhile... He going behind blue face back trying to sign Krishan Rock. <sighs> Niggas ain't shit. Niggas ain't shit. Niggas ain't shit. But that's why I talk so blunt. Nigga, I done been around the block. None of this shit surprise me. All of this shit niggas be all in a story of four online, nigga. Know how many times I had to step over a dead body and keep eating my breakfast like I don't see this nigga laying here? And mind my goddamn business. Nigga dead at my feet. I'm sitting here eating my cornflakes like I don't even see this nigga. Oh, this shit online is cute to me. Whack 100, them niggas, them niggas ain't no threat to me. Them niggas ain't tough guys to me. 
but he's dangerous to a Krishan rock. That's why I talk the way I talk. To give her a different perspective. And more than likely she know this. Rock's from Baltimore. She's so gangster, she don't give a fuck. She's so gangster, she don't give a fuck. And I understand that. But that's why I talk like this. Because I know them niggas is snakes. There's no way Blueface can pay back that $14 million without Krishan Rock help. There's no way he can clear his debt with Wack without Krishan Rock help. And that's a debt impossible. Wack 100 will never allow him to clear no fucking debt. If Blueface can fucking clear the debt with Wack, then Blueface can afford to buy his way out of a contract. Wack won't allow that. Blueface to end up dead before Wack let him go. Believe that. Believe that. This is a hip hop Ponzi scheme. And the nigga at the top of the Ponzi scheme never fucking lose. The nigga at the top of the fucking Ponzi scheme never lose. If a rapper got to die and the nigga got to collect that life insurance policy that every record label have on these stupid ass rappers, then that's what the fuck gonna happen. But the nigga at the top of the fucking Ponzi scheme never loses. It'd be another dead rapper in LA before whack except a multi-million dollar loss. Why do you think they going so hard to destroy Krishan Rock? Because getting rid of her by blue face time. WAC 100 and nobody else. They cannot stand the fact that blue face fucking up millions of dollars. Millions of dollars in fucking debt. And you going to let fucking Krishan Rock? You going to let... All of those future millions of dollars just walk out of your fucking life? You were so ignorant, so in your feelings with that girl, you destroyed that relationship up so bad, you allowed Krishan Rock to walk away forever? Blueface would have been dead already. Is y'all stupid or dumb? You don't think WAC 100 recognized Krishan Rock is a future multi-millionaire? She's a fucking superstar? Whether she's with Blue or not, she's going to win out here? Of course he recognized that. You don't think WAC is thinking, hey, hold on, nigga. You owe Vegas millions. You owe me millions. And the only motherfucker you got in your life you let her go back to Baltimore, have a baby, and she running around with another rapper? Blueface would have been fucking dead. Niggas don't want to talk about that, though. Niggas don't want to talk about that. Nigga would have been dead. This is exactly what Dre is feeling. Dre Jesse literate. He don't know how to articulate the shit. He don't know how to articulate it. I know exactly what Dre is saying about his mother. But them calling him crazy don't help. Especially when he's not articulate and don't know how to get his point across. Right? He'll take you on a fucking roller coaster ride and never get to the punchline. 
You be sitting there like he just keep going and going and going. So I understand why it's so easy for Carlissa to come out and say, ah, oh, don't listen to him. That nigga crazy. He need help. No, bitch, you need help. You had Bree, Callie, everybody on the motherfucking IG Live to save your face. Your son dropped a whole lot of truth with a whole lot of receipts. You couldn't dispute those receipts. So you had to drag Bree and your daughter online to call this man crazy. The nigga had receipts, Carlissa. You was threatening your son. You was threatening to dox him, expose him, expose his wife. Months ago. The dates on some of those receipts is months ago. You been doing this shit to him. And we supposed to believe he's the crazy one and not you. Typical scallywag ass bitch. That's what they do. No accountability and deflect. That's what they do. They be doing this too much. Pointing the fucking finger. This what fucking scallywags do. This what scallywags do. Ten kids by ten different niggas. This what scallywags do. They all deadbeats. They ain't want a committed relationship. They ain't really love me. No accountability. Ten babies by ten different niggas. They all deadbeats. Bitch, you the common denominator. How the fuck all of them is the problem and not you? You, out of all these ten niggas, you the common denominator. Fuck out of here. You the common denominator. How you are not the problem. Shit don't even make sense. Most of them niggas is married, living happily ever after. How you are not the problem. That's Carlissa. No accountability. Carlissa take no accountability. Good morning, pretty faces. How are y'all doing? Until she does right <laughs> by those edges, everything. <laughs> God damn it. Nasty work. Carlissa goddamn edges, goddamn it. When she was goddamn 18, they was all down by her goddamn eyebrows, goddamn it. She hit 30, they done moved up here, goddamn it. She hit 40, they up here, goddamn it. That bitch about 51, 52, 53, they gone. <laughs> Yo, y'all ladies is crazy. God damn. They said, Carl, listen, uh, edges on a struggle, god damn it. Her edges is on a struggle. God damn, Carl, listen. <laughs> Carl, listen. They said, Carl, listen, got preemie baby here. <laughs> Too soon, bitch. Too soon, bitch. Too soon. God damn. Carl, listen, they said your edges is thirsty, god damn it. They said your edges is thirsty. Thir Come here, let me pour some coffee on them shits. Let me water them shits. Chia, chia, chia. Let's see if the motherfuckers will grow. Chia, chia, chia. <laughs> She looked like a fucking chia pet in the face. 
I can't believe she motherfucking uh, took that goddamn hat off, man, when she's over there at Cali House, man. I couldn't believe that shit, man. I couldn't believe that shit. Like, it fucked me up. It's what the fuck? This shit looked at like a dirty Brillo pad. Like her fucking afro. Like her afro looked at like a dirty goddamn Brillo pad. I swear it did, ladies. Look, y'all think I'm lying. This lady afro looked at like a fucking Brillo pad. Look, look, y'all think I'm lying. Let me see if I can find this shit. Because I know y'all think I'm full of shit. Uh-huh. Y'all ain't gonna call me no goddamn liar. I know what the hell a Brillo pad look like. I know what the hell a Brillo pad look like. Y'all ain't gonna call me no goddamn liar. <laughs> I know what the hell a Brillo pad look like. Come on, man. Come on, man. I don't even know if y'all can see that. Come on, man. We ain't gonna do that. Where are we going? Let me turn my shit up. Come on, man. We're not going to do that. Tell me that don't like no Brillo pad. Tell me that don't look like no Brillo pad. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I got to get a better one. I need a better picture. I'm trying to... Hold on, I got a better one for y'all. Hold on. Hold on, we need this on a close-up. All right. All right, all right. Yeah, I see what I can do. Hold on, let me blow this up a little bit. Look at that fucking Brillo pad. That shit look like... That shit look like the... That shit looked like the scrub brush my mechanic was cleaning my brake pads off with. Like, you see that shit? Like, it looked like... It looked like she dipped her head in some fucking dirty motor oil and then went and scrubbed some pots and pans with that shit. Like, goddamn, Carl Lissa. Nasty goddamn work. I told you, stop fucking around with Junior and I'm gonna leave you alone, you hard-headed. God damn, you hard-headed, Carlissa. <laughs> Yo, Instagram telling me I got 60 seconds left. I might come back. I might, yeah, I'm going to come back and do another one. Um, my coffee got cold because I was running my mouth. So let me go throw my coffee in the microwave. Um... Roll up another blunt. And I'm now matter of fact, I still got some more weed. Yeah. Let me go warm this up and I'll be right back, ladies. <laughs> 